Hey, welcome back to our second series on songwriting. We're glad you're here. Let's watch the show intro, and we'll see you in 30 seconds on the other side. Rock. It began as a dream with two kids in high school. There was a spark, magic, chemistry. Then life happened. But 30 years later, the fire was reignited. The band is back, better and badder than ever. They prolifically turn out new music, songs hitting the tops of the charts in various corners of the world. Rockin' You since 82. Hey, welcome back. Uh, when last we met, um, I was putting together drum parts uh, to send to Reb, and he put those into the system, um, you know, just very simply, uh, but gave it a decent enough mix for what they are, roughed in drum parts. Um, and then laughed at me uh, for insinuating that he had some sort of plan, uh, which I like, and um, just shot it back to me and said, you know, now we need to start coming up with some ideas. So there's two ways I can hear this going. So I'm going to mute the drums that I put in here for right now. There's two ways I can hear this going. First way is to um, let the riff kind of start first and then sort of play catch up with the lyrics like this silence. There could be something here, and then another thing, and finally this thing here right now. So that could be one way to go with it. And like, <clears throat> you could just sort of follow that up. Um, melodically with what he's doing. So just um, basically outline chords. So now with drums back in, it could be something like me singing not very well. <clears throat> I got your lyric Another lyric I got your lyric now Everybody knows you know, it could be something like that. Or a different way to do it would be to let the lyric kind of start um, more or less right when the riff itself starts and then let those hits down and down and down, 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 let those be on their own. So, excuse me, a different way I was thinking of doing this could be something like... Um, Something like this. So. Everybody knows that you want it. And they know that you really want it. What am I supposed to do with you? <laughs> Everybody knows that you want it. It's just dumb. Just freestyling. But that kind of idea instead. Um. And it's two different ways it can play. And I don't really have a preference, and obviously I don't have any real words. Um, but I could hear it go in either of those ways. Um, I might take a little time here. Actually, I've got to go to class here pretty quickly. But uh, I might take a little time here and see if I can massage those a little bit more into, like, actual words. And I might play around and see if there's some different stuff um, to do melodically as well. I don't know, I feel like that's more Mike's bag, baby, <clears throat> because he's the one that actually has to sing it. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see where that falls out. Anyway, um, that's what I got for right now, so back at some point. Okay, so I was playing around with lyrics uh, last time, not in terms of like real lyrics, um, just dumb stuff but trying to think about a placement for um, how they would flow uh, throughout the tune. And in the meantime, Mike sent me a text uh, with what he said were um, possible lyrics for this. So he is calling this, as of right now, a Bloody Mary. 
And the words he gave me are as thus, Innocent by day, a prowler at night, she walks the way so long as there is light. But when the sun descends, the beast insides awake, sinlessness it ends, and mortal souls will quake. She's Bloody Mary, murderous in high heels, Bloody Mary, terror act conceals. She's Bloody Mary, stalks her prey at night, Bloody Mary, gore is her delight. All right. All right. I need to make that a capital M. Um, there's definitely an element of this that reminds me of uh, both um, two songs off of Animalize, um, Thrills in the Night and Murder in High Heels. Um, I'm fine with that. There are words, you know, there's only so many words in the language and some of them are going to get repeated. And conceptually, I, I think it's fine. I think it's good. I'm not crazy about the line, the beast inside's awake. I feel like that's hard to say. Um, but Mike's the one that has to sing it. And so maybe that will roll. Let me take a look here at um, how this might unravel uh, with the tempo. So, and with the thing itself. So here's the tune. Try this on for size. Innocent by day, a prowler at night. She walks the way so long as there is light. That could work. I didn't like a prowler at night, so instead, dun, 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 dun innocent by day. Mm. Mm. A prowler at night. It should go like that instead of a prowler at night. That's dumb. But that can work. One more time. Innocent by day. A prowler at night. She walks the way so long as there is light. When the sun descends, the beast inside's awake. Sinlessness it ends, mortal souls will quake. So I lost my thing there. That can work. That was one of the ways I was envisioning um, the flow of it. I could think about doing it the other way. And of course, there's gotta be some sort of melody in there too. Maybe Mike's got an idea for that. I don't know. As he said the other day, he rarely has a plan. Um, let me massage this a little bit. I've also got a meeting coming up here soon. Virtual, virtual meeting. Have you noticed that we have taken to like waving goodbye at the ends of virtual meetings? Why do we do that? I never wave goodbye at the regular meeting. I never like stand up and go, all right, see you later. It was dumb, but on Zoom, we're all like, all right, bye, have a good time, see you later, with Muppet voices. It's dumb. Anyway, I'm going to do this meeting, and I'm going to massage these a little bit and see what I can come up with, and uh, then I might be back. So, later. All right, I think I've got a thing here. So, I did my meeting, and I ate my lunch, and um, I've just been fooling around with some melody ideas for this. Um, and so I'm going to press play here on the uh, audio file um, and let you know what I'm thinking. Here we go. That's the idea that I've got so far. Um, I was thinking about where to try to go after the second little bit of verse that Mike sent. Um, you know, he's doing... You know, I wouldn't mind seeing it jump up to like a D chord here. So he's done... Maybe 
jump up to a four there, the D chord, back to A. Then it might be fun, I know I'm ultimately aiming for E, but it might be fun to go up to an F chord before ending there. So like... Ideas. The ideas come. Um, that may be all I've got so far, um, at least as far as what we have to work on now. You're a little crooked. I just noticed that. I'm sorry. That may be a little, um, that may be as far as I can get uh, with this right now. So I think probably what's going to happen at this point is that I'll ship all these over to Mike uh, so that he can get them arranged into some sort of presentable order and uh, see what he thinks of what I've done, um, and we can move forward from there. Thanks, Scott. And here we are back in the studio. Yay! Um, so a couple of things. I like uh, what he's thinking uh, about the song, uh, but I did want to qualify that the lyrics that I sent him were not written for this song. They were just lyrics that I happened to run across in our massive file folder of the cloud file folder, of, of songs that we've either written parts of or ideas for songs. I just happened to be going through that and found those lyrics and thought, hey, I wonder if these will work. I didn't even check it against the uh, the melody or the, the rhythm or anything else. I just sent it off to Scott and said, hey, maybe these are some lyrics. So I got this email from Scott last night uh, with these videos in it that you've just watched. And uh, he said something about, I sent you um, BM. I'm blank. I, I forgot that I had even sent him the lyrics because I wrote them so long ago and it was just on a whim that I sent him. So I sent him a message back and said, what's BM? I don't know if he's writing music on the toilet. I don't know what he's doing. Right? <laughs> so anyway, I got this uh, rather scolding, joking um Hey, douchebag, or whatever he said. Uh, Bloody Mary. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So anyway, he got a good laugh out of that. And he wanted me to make sure that I shared that with you guys so that I could humiliate and ridicule myself on our YouTube channel. So there you go, Scott. That's for you. Uh, but I do like what he's done. And so what I want to do is take you into the next phase of that where I'm going to start working with some of the melody concepts and rhythm concepts um, and then probably going to move forward into uh, the chord progressions that he suggested. Uh, so that's going to take me a little bit of time here to make that happen, but that's where we're going next. So this is going to be fun. All right, so it's actually been a few days since I've had opportunity to look at this. Life has just been pretty crazy. Um, so I printed out the lyrics, and I've reviewed what Scott sent. Um, and I just kind of want to go through what I hear uh, what from what he did, taking that loosely, and just kind of putting some meat on the skeleton of what we have here so far. So using the lyrics from Bloody Mary. Um, which I think works, and I'll, I'll get into the concept behind this in just a second. Innocent by day, a prowler at night, she walks away, so long as there is light. But when the sun descends, the beast inside's awake. Sinlessness in hands And mortal souls will quake I'm not saying those rhythm lines are right. I'm not saying any of it, but that's just kind of what I hear. Um, and I'm not even totally sure that I sang it the same in the first stanza as I did the second stanza. But what I want to do... Um, is go ahead and just record this. Again, it's just scratch vocals. My voice isn't warmed up. I just ate pasta, so... <laughs> but um, hopefully the mic is on here, and we'll just do a quick scratch vocal uh, in there just to give us something to work with that I can send back to Scott. i got to do a setup on the audio here. Uh, 
Give me one second. Okay, so uh, hopefully you can hear this. And again, this is just going to be a scratch vocal. So let's just go with it, see what we get. The innocent by day, the bowler at night. She walks the way, so long as there is light. But when the sun descends, the beast inside's awake. Sinlessness it ends, and mortal souls will quake. And I can tell that I definitely um, had the timing off. And that's fine. This is just scratch. So we'll sort that out later. But right now, um, that's just what I wanted to do. So let's go back and listen to it again. Okay, so good enough, you know, um, the, it's it's a crappy scratch track. I've got the speaker right behind it blowing into the mic. I'm not singing into the mic. I don't have my spit guard on. Don't care about any of that. Matter of fact, I just about switched over uh, to this mic, but I'm actually using my studio mic. I'm uh, just kind of sitting in front of me here on the desk right now. So close enough. That's all we care about. So now I need to go back and look at where Scott was going next with that uh, into the chorus. Um, and just remind myself of what that was and what the chord progressions were. So let's look at that next, and we'll be right back after a short message from our sponsor, Iron Fist. Okay, and so I went back, and uh, as I was finding the next phrases of the chords for the guitar that I wanted to kind of start putting some scratch tracks down for, um, he had put out a melody track here that I forgot about on the piano, so I'm going to sing that, and then we can choose which one we like better. Um, so let's do that right now. Hopefully, I can get this right. Oh, oh, oh. That hurts. Speakers are behind the microphone. Don't do that. There we go. A little feedback never hurt anybody. And people wonder why I'm deaf. Ah, that hurt. Innocent by day, a prowler at night. She walks away as long as there is light. But when the sun descends, the beast inside's away. Sinlessness it ends, and mortal souls will quake. I like it. I like it a lot. Either one is good, um, but I think that particular one could be quite stunning. So let's hear what we got. Thanks for sharing that, Mike. I appreciate it. Okay. All right, mix is off, blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares about that right now. So um, then the next thing is the chords coming out of that. Um, after that double, do, 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 do. Um, 
And so he was going up to a D, then an A, then an F, and then an E. So I'm not sure what that's gonna look like yet. Let's see. That could work. Um, I'm a little puzzled why there's so much effect on that guitar. It feels like it's on the vocal bus. It's not. <laughs> not sure why, wow, that's why. Again, scratch, who cares, right? <laughs> Okay, so out here at the end, let's get the trick cl the click track going and just get a feel for this. that going with the lyrics somehow so let's see she's bloody mary murder in high heels bloody mary back to the d terror act conceals she's bloody mary stalks her prey at night bloody mary Thor is her delight, maybe. So what I did was I went D, A, D, A, F, up to G, back to F, and down to E. So that could work. I'm not going to get carried away with making this good because we don't know where we're going with it. Uh, but I'm going to record that in here and then we'll see what we get. So let's see what we get. And again, we're just making it up as we go because that's what songwriting is all about, right? I still feel like there's a lot of zits on this guitar and I don't know why. Ah. There was a lot of zits on that guitar. Let's try that again. scratch vocal with that and then before we take this any further um, we're gonna ship this over to Scott and uh, see what his thoughts are on that so Scott it was a D A D A F G F E so I just added the G and I did a little redundancy on the D A I don't know what you were thinking uh, but I'll go ahead and put a scratch uh, chorus in there and I don't know if the melody line is gonna be right again it's just fill vocals so um, it'll be what it is if it works, then we will uh, make it prettier for next time. <clears throat> so let's hear what we got here. I'm just winging it here, so uh, let's um, not turn the microphone on before we turn things down so we don't blow out our eardrums, and let's hear what we got.
Okay, so the guitar, again, it's terrible scratch, blah, blah. Um, oh, we're still really hot there for some reason. Not sure why. Let's turn that down some more. Too many controls to mess with. All right, here we go. Are we ready? She's Mary, murder in high heels. She's bloody Mary, the terror reconciles. She's bloody Mary, she stalks her prey at night. Bloody Mary, gore is her delight. So let's go back and listen to it. Let's turn up the speaker so we can hear it. gather my thoughts here for just a moment and I'll be right back. Told you I'd be back. So what's the concept behind this song first of all? No clue. Um, I can give you a little background on some songs that I wrote way back in the day about basically the nymphomaniac woman who would live a normal life by day and go out prowling the streets at night. Um, Duh. boring, 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 you know. Um, but this was kind of a spin on that um, because I really see Bloody Mary more being like a homicidal maniac. Um, when she's bloody, it means literally she's bloody. Um, I kind of had this um, horror type, uh, thriller type of scenario in my mind. I don't remember what was going on when I came up with this concept, but I thought it would be really cool to write about this innocent girl who seems like a theme as I think about it. Uh, I'm thinking of like songs like Lookout, but um, innocent girl who you know works hard by day and but at night she's a prowler and she's a stalker and um, she's seeking revenge maybe for some wrong done to her like Ray Jack. Um, I think we have a theme here, Scott. Um, it could be another pirate song, I suppose, like Ray Jack was. Um, but I don't see that more. I see this more of, a, of the, the gal who lives a normal life, but she has been hurt and has had tremendous loss. And at night, she is just out with a bloodthirsty revenge to wreak hell on everybody um, who is done whatever, you know. Um, so that's kind of where it is. Maybe this is the, the Halloween song for next year. Probably not. Um, but it's a whole year away. That's, you know, 10 months from now, nine months from now. But that's kind of the thinking. It's more of a... Where, where, like, when we did Nightmares, we had a... In the beginning, we didn't have a clear... Um, not Nightmares, sorry. Um, Stranded in the Shadows, the last songwriting series. We kind of developed this clear cut path on what this song was about, and it ended up being around the Devil Tree. We may do that here, or this may be a little bit more ethereal, ambiguous. Uh, I'm not sure. But that, that was in my mind, anyway. So, um, I like the tone of it. I particularly... Uh, like Scott's melody line compared to what I sang, I think that came out of what he had done in the first part of the video when he was playing the track and just listening. Um, and I think I kind of followed that path maybe a little bit. Um, but when I went and listened to what he played on the piano, as I, as I pulled out those guitar chords, um, I really like that minor feel. It, it adds a lot of sinister to this. Um, so that's fun. Uh, I don't have a second guitar part. I don't have, I mean, I'm just strumming chords right now. I think it needs to be something a little bit more complicated, but maybe not. 
Um, I haven't thought about the baseline, but I really want to keep that walking baseline going through this. So, uh, but I want to get this over to Scott and uh, get his feedback on it for our next episode, and then you'll hear back from me at that point. So, um, yeah, I think that's good. Don't go anywhere. There's a bunch of other songwriting episodes here. There's one on retort, retorting, recording guitar. Um, if you go over to the playlists, you'll see all the stuff we have on the channel. We have some some old videos there from live performances uh, back when we first reformed the band about seven years ago. Uh, the first rehearsal is on here, which is our number one viewed video. Uh, it, it's rough. I mean, let's just face it. You know, we were four guys in a basement playing and but it's history, so, you know. Uh, but there's also music videos. There's playlists for our music videos here. Um, two or three music videos. I think there's a lyric video for, uh, like, Grown Up Girls. There's the Talking to Machines music video. And then our latest one uh, for our spooky tune last year, A Stranded in the Shadows. We're on Instagram and Facebook. You can find us there. Facebook forward slash Iron Fist online. Uh, Instagram, it's Iron Fist, uh, Iron Fist underscore online. Um, that's us. So be sure to join us over there. And as always, you know that both Scott and I will always say, rock on. Unless I get something else that I feel is worth sharing, uh, that's going to be it for me this time around. Uh, and do please all the things that Mike always asks you to do. Um, subscribe, like, share, leave a comment, do all that good stuff because uh, it helps us. So, all right, I'm out of here. Until next time. Thank you.